A memorial for Lily Shambrook continues to grow at the very intersection where she lost her life. The incident shedding light on the danger some bicyclists told me they face every day while riding in bike lanes meant to protect them. Paint is not protection. Paint is not going to protect you when a car weaves into the bike lane. It's a route bicyclist Courtney Cobbs tries to avoid. There aren't any speed humps. The road is really wide and there's nothing to prevent anyone from like weaving. Now that route is marked with a memorial for three year old Lily Shambrook. Police say she was run over by a semi Thursday morning in Uptown while riding on the back of her mother's bicycle. The two were traveling in a bike lane. Her family tells me less than five minutes from their home. The toddler's death coming just weeks after a 23 year old bicyclist was hit and killed near North Milwaukee and Kilbourne Avenues last month. That intersection now with plans to build raised concrete curbs to protect riders. And those were preventable deaths. If we had some sort of concrete barrier. While ABC 7 has learned Alderman James Kappelman plans to ask the city's transportation department for a safety review of the area where Lily died, some bicyclists say something must be done sooner to slow down cars and keep them safe while riding. If the city really wants to make it happen, they can make it happen. And the fact that they aren't doing it says that my life is not a priority. The lives of people who get around by bike are not a priority right now. In Uptown, I'm Trey Ward, ABC7.